Man, how do you follow Miss Universe and a Jedi Master? <laughs> I've had to change Lord my... <laughs> I had to change my speech at least six times already. And it's mainly because what I've noticed as a newbie, um, and there's a word I wanted to use, but there are kids here, but it's my first time. Um, it's great to be here, it's an honor. I'm, I'm learning so much. I'm an island boy. I was born in Trinidad and Tobago, um, down in the Caribbean. I have two kids. I'm, I'm fortunate, fortunate to have uh, two marriages, so I can compare both. <laughs> and as, as the good doctor said, <laughs> as the good doctor said, I have a 25-year-old daughter who's going to school in Winnipeg, and I have a six-year-old son. I have a six-year-old son who um, says I'm his best friend. He's actually messaging me just before I came up because he wants to talk. Um, <clears throat> what I would like to say more or less as my, my journey as a leader has always been around, um, how you say it, things that you learn as you, you go along the road. Everybody has had stress, right? Somebody talked about stress, but it's how we dealt with stress. Um, I wasn't a master of dealing with stress until uh, probably about three years ago, just before, the, for, just before the pandemic. You know, with stress, we always thought the best thing to do is to just vent, let it out, use those words that kids are not supposed to hear, <laughs> and um, it takes care of itself. But what I've learned um, even is that, is what we, even if we have to vent, we have to get it out with whoever that person is. It's more or less my wife. Sometimes, sometimes she says, oh, you talk too much. You know, she's kind of my life coach as well, plus I have a life coach. Because what she has taught me more or less is that um, keeping things positive all the time is what gets us through those stressful times. Um, should I hold the mic now? Because the Jedi Master told me to do that, right? <laughs> Uh, change things up um, and even as in my industry I'm like a doctor because I go in as a consultant to help customers who are having financial issues in terms of selling more the retail aspect of supermarkets restaurants so we try to tell them you know what you have to listen to your customers of course what do your customers want what do your customers need how do we generate that revenue that you need to be successful? And one of the greatest things, not just what revenue or money I get from it, it's converting trust into currency. So some people might say I'm crazy, but you would not believe how much customers say, Kevin, I trust you. What do you think we should do? And whatever I recommend, Sometimes, most of the time it works, sometimes it doesn't. But they understand that we have to try different things until we get to where we need to be, right? And that goes along to where I pass on my knowledge to my staff, my managers, where they are comfortable and trust me and respect me and they carry, carry on my, my teachings. So it's... I'm, I'm getting a little broken up because I'm so passionate. So somebody talked about passion. I'm so passionate about my employees and what they need to do that I always am. Um, should I move over here? Because now I need to get the energy to the crowd, the positive energy. Remember, I'm trying to get like Miss Universe and the Jedi Master. Where's the Jedi Master, right? I'm a Star, I'm a Star Wars fan, big time. Um, so I'm, but as I was saying, you know, at the end of the day, it's all about that trust, people trusting you, and then that converts into success for everybody. Because my customers are my partners, because they have to trust me, and they have to succeed. And once they succeed, I succeed. If they don't succeed, I don't succeed. So 
that's where the passion is. They can call me anytime. Once the wife approves it, of course. <laughs> but um, I, I put my wife up there because she's really been a rock to me. My second wife, my first wife, not so much. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She gave me a beautiful daughter. I'm just easing the mood. Two minutes left? Okay, I'm good. So one of the things I did is to, I drank some, a lot of water, so I have to hurry up, right, to ensure that I can leave. But anyway, um, it all comes down to, I've, I've learned there's two things more or less that I watch words that I, I live by. So my slogan is, for my company is, we listen to you. And that's really what it is. We listen to our customers. We really, really let them say what they have to say and then we come up with solutions. And there is something that Abraham Lincoln said, I'm not concerned that you have fallen. I'm concerned that you have arisen. So that's my basic watch which I tell people, say, that's, what does that mean? There's no basic meaning for it that I've looked all over the internet for, but to me, it's about always keep trying. Even if you don't succeed at something, keep trying, because people are gonna be concerned that you're still there. Thank you very much. You go have a great night. Do I drop the mic?